What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to place a curtain wall at our store entry. So as you can see from this exercise, we have left this area here empty, this one, because this is where we are going to place our curtain wall. Okay, so the uh, objectives for this exercise are we're going to add a curtain wall at the entry, this area here. And then we're going to add embedded uh, curtain walls. We're going to place doors in our curtain wall. And then we're going to modify the grid pattern of our curtain wall. All right. So let's do this. So let's go to our floor plan. So let's go to the store floor 01. Okay. And then let us tile these views. So we can see our 2D here. And then we can also see our 3D here. Okay, let's see what will happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my properties window with my project browser. So to do that, I'm going to click this header here. Hold your left click and then drag that. And then we're going to align that to our project browser. And there you go. So it's now combined here. So I have the properties. I have the project browser. So I did that so that I have enough uh, 3D space uh, floor plan and 3d space here all right so let's do this so let's go to our architecture and then let's click the wall so let's click the wall and then from our properties let's select here our uh, storefront okay so let's click this okay so from here we are going to change the property of our curtain wall. So currently, our top constraint here is up to uh, level 3 lower parapet. So we're going to change this one. So instead of constraint, because we want to specify uh, height here. So currently, unconnected is disabled because you already specify your top constraint. So up to level 3. So if you want to modify the top constraint by changing the value of unconnected here so you need to click the drop down here and then select unconnected so when you click that you will be able to manually change the height or the top constraint of the wall that you will be creating so we are going to select this and then let's say i only want 3000 for that and then enter okay then after that from our draw panel modify place wall contextual tab so i'll be using here start and radius arc so i'm gonna select this and then i'm gonna click here this here's my first point start radius and then like 90 degrees okay so once i see the 90 degrees i'm going to click to place my uh curtain wall and then i select your modify so as you can see it's now added here okay so now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to place embedded curtain walls okay so to do that again we will be using our curtain wall tool so from the architecture let's click the wall and then from the properties make sure storefront is still selected Okay, so this time, we are going to change our base offset. Okay, so for the base offset, I'm going to offset it by 500. Okay, so from the base, it will go up 500. And then for the unconnected height here, I just want uh, 2,000. So 2,000 and then enter. Okay, and then as you can see in this exercise, there's already some uh, reference lines that we can use. So using the line tool with these settings, base offset of 500 and then the height of 200. So I'm going to click here. So I'm going to click another point here. There you go. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see here. So that's the first set of my supposed to be... Uh, front windows so I'm gonna click here as well one then I'm gonna click here two and there you go let's pan and orbit and then let's move here all right so here's my second point here at uh, the first point and then second point there you go and then I'm going to zoom in and then click and then let's click here and there you have it all right.
and then after that I'm going to select here modify now the next thing that I'll be doing is I'm going to duplicate that uh, curtain wall why because I want to I want to create another type of curtain wall so instead of a storefront instead of that name I'm the, I'm going to create a new uh, type okay so I'm going to select this uh, curtain wall here and then like what you have learned before when we place our doors and window to duplicate let's click edit type and then let's duplicate it and then I'm gonna call this uh, front windows all right so front windows and then i'll select here okay and then we are going to add the spacing on my horizontal grid okay so instead of uh, 2400 i'm gonna make that only 1200 okay and then after that i'm going to select here okay and then look what will happen here so okay there you go see so there's an added uh boolean here so what we are going to do i'm going to select this curtain wall and then i'm going to pan and then hold control to select also this curtain wall so make sure you are selecting the curtain wall not the mullion okay so make sure the curtain wall so click and then go to the properties and then we are going to change that to front windows and there you go all right okay and then select here modify now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add doors to our curtain wall okay so there's our curtain wall right so for you to be able to add a door here so let's say this part here and then this part here we are going to replace that with a door Okay, so for you to be able to do that, so let's hover your pointer to this face and then press tab. Do not click, just hover your pointer and then press tab. And then once it highlights, it says now curtain panels. So you click that to select. All right, and then after that, make sure you unpin this one because you see if this is not unpinned, you will not be able to change the property here, right? You cannot click. So I'm going to unpin that. There you go. So it's now unpinned and then you can now change here. So I can change that now to a door curtain wall single glass that is loaded in this project. So click that and it's now changed like that. And then I'm going to select here modify. Now for this one, I do not want this uh, mullion here. So I'm going to select this mullion and then we are going to delete that again before you delete it just unpin that like that and then delete all right so i'm going to again hover your pointer do not click yet just move your pointer to this uh, panel and then press tab once there you go it's now highlighted so you click it and then unpin you click that it's now unpinned and then click the drop down arrow here and then look for door, door curtain wall single glass and there you go so it's now changed again uh i do not need this mullion here so you click that and pin delete you can press delete on your keyboard or you can click this icon here and i don't need this mullion as well so you click that and pin delete okay and then here from the floor plan we're going to flip the door so let's click this door here and then let's use this icon here to flip there you go so it's now like this and select here modify and there you have it okay so that's how you uh, place a curtain wall to your uh, model okay so in this exercise we have learned how to add a curtain wall in our entry area add embedded uh, curtain walls, place doors in the curtain wall, and modify the grid pattern of a curtain wall. All right, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.